Hey guys, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Sammy Cam here and welcome back to another BTS reaction guys. We are back once again and today we're going to be reacting to the music video for the song I Need You by BTS. Also something I just want to say, a lot of you guys are saying, is your eye okay? It's, it's pretty red. Uh, yeah, it's just a slight eye infection, like it's completely fine. Sorry that you guys have to look at it because it probably doesn't look the best, but there's nothing I can really do about it. I've just got to wait for it to heal and it should be gone very soon. Now just before we get into it, I just want to say a quick thing about yesterday yesterday's video a lot of things within the run music video just went straight over my head because i was literally just so immersed with the video that there were quite a few key scenes within the music video quite dark scenes actually which just completely went over my head so i am really sorry for that but sometimes when you're watching stuff for the first time it's hard to take everything in like both because you've got to think about the vocals the lyrics and then you've got the storyline and the visuals over the top as well but after the second watch i can really appreciate how obviously fun this the song seems sounded but the visuals were extremely dark and when you look further into the lyrics they also follow those themes as well so but I'm yeah I'm really interested to look further into that because there was a lot of scenes of them getting arrested and having fights with each other someone made me realize that on the photo with all of them by the truck Jin actually disappears when it goes into the next scene which is really really interesting but yeah for this video i've decided to try something quite different i need your guys's feedback down in the comments but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna watch a color-coded lyric video just listen to the song but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna listen to the song twice first one is gonna be a color-coded lyric video with just whoever's singing and then the lyrics at the bottom so i could just listen to the song all the way through and then i'm going to watch the music video and focus on the visuals just so i can fully take everything in because i really don't want to end up missing things like last time i want to see the full picture as it is i won't be doing this for all music videos obviously it's just these storyline music videos because i can i understand from what you guys are saying they're quite content filled the videos so i really want to try and take that all in let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this is it a good idea is it a bad idea that would be amazing so yeah without further ado i'm sorry for rabbiting so much let's get right into the video Alright guys, so just before we get into the lyric video, if you're new to the channel, you've never seen my face before, or you've just been watching these videos and you're not yet subscribed to the channel down below, make sure you click that button guys, that'd be absolutely amazing. Also, top right of my screen is my Twitter and my Instagram. If you guys would like to give me a follow on there, that'd be absolutely amazing. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this I Need You, obviously, lyric video first. I'm excited to hear this song, man. <laughs> Mm. RM with that little ad lib there. Mm. Mm. Sugar with that very deep rap. <laughs> so so far very deep lyrics a lot of content in these obviously talking about themes of anxiety and stuff like that just all around very negative feelings that people have and i'm loving the instrumental as well very very slow very deep you you guys know i love deep rap so this is right up my street <laughs> um. <Ooh. laughs> Okay, we're going up now. <laughs> oh. Okay, Jimin. <laughs> I'm loving that. Dude, Jimin's got an amazing voice. I need you, girl. You're so Oh my god. Yeah, straight away this hook uh, is a lot more upbeat than obviously the first part of the song. I wasn't expecting it to, to just go off like this so quickly, but also really, really catchy stuff in this in this hook, man. Uh, why do I keep needing you when I know I'll get hurt? Mm. Okay. Ooh, that an instrumental break. <laughs> yes. Did Ah ha ha, here we go. Ah. Mm. <laughs> 
heart. Dude, wait, what did he just say? It's definitely my heart, my feelings, but why don't they listen to me? Oh, dude, the lyrics have got so much substance as well, and he sounds great, dude. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Jin's coming. Uh. Uh. This hook is so catchy, dude. Girl. You know it's that first I need you girl there. I think by the looks of the color coded lyrics It was said by both Jungkook and RM. They just like layered their vocals on top of each other I really love when artists do that it kind of gives a it, it just makes it a lot more energetic And it's like a whole room of people are just like shouting something really. Yeah, it like it adds a lot more depth to it Which is really nice Okay, we brought it down now Uh. Mm. <laughs> Dude, okay, let me roll that back. That was nice. Who was this? It's Jimin and Junkie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this one's hitting different, this one. Catchy hook, and then you've obviously, within that catchy hook, you've got the Which translates to you're beautiful, I believe, and uh, no, yeah, just, just super good. They're showing off vocal ability, rapping ability, you know, everything in this. And obviously their production skills on this. <laughs> what a way to end it off as well with the with the little drum roll or whatever that was. <laughs> yes, man. Super, super catchy tune. On the outside, obviously, uh, very, quite deep lyrics and starting off very slow. But then coming in with that really impactful chorus, uh, I... It, it definitely wasn't a fun song by any means, but it's definitely something that you could rock out to and really uh, use as obviously a coping mechanism for something like heartbreak or something like that. But yeah, man, now let's have a look at the visuals for this. I'm super obviously interested in this. I do love music videos. And now that I've got like a feeling for the song, I feel like I can just appreciate these visuals a lot more. We're going to be watching the original version of the music video. And obviously in the storyline, this comes before Run. So I've got to keep that in mind, obviously, that everything that happens in this music video is prior to what happened in the Run music video. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Big hit. Also, I swear I saw those. I saw those petals in uh, in the Run music video as well. Dude, super, super flat image. No saturation on this. Dark, colorless. We've got, um, obviously, is that Jin? Oh, no, I think that's Jungkook just looking in the mirror, you know, with inse insecurities covering themes of anxiety already. I'm liking this, this pre instrumental. Got RM again.
Okay, now I saw RM with the lollipop in his mouth again. You guys have to tell me, does that lollipop have any like deeper meaning? I guess, well, I guess that's just something I have to find out for myself through the storyline. But yeah, I've, I've, I've noticed that's a common theme. And obviously this guy, is that sugar? I it might be sugar. I'm not too sure. It's burning something in the bathtub again. Obviously the picture was burnt last time. So common themes here, man, already. Wait, hang on. English subtitles. What did that mean? The most beautiful moment in life, part one. Okay. Mm. Don't cry. He's got a lighter again. And that's something that I saw at the start of the um, of the MMA live performance as well. I'm pretty sure RM had a lighter in his hand. So, dude, I'm already like piecing bits together here because they, they've got these common little themes that they have, and it's all got to mean something, man. <laughs> Dude. This is real dark. There's the petals again. <laughs> they all look happy there. Uh. Is this V? And I'm not sure because I've I have heard from your guys' comments. Apparently, within this storyline, they're each playing a different character. So his character does seem extremely shady. Obviously, hood up and everything like that. And now he's getting beaten up by uh, two guys in hoods, all dressed in black. Here, super confused. <laughs> Flowers on fire. Mm. Okay, second listen, this beat is really nice. It's confusing because when these guys are all together within the music video, they act like really happy and everything like that. But then when they're alone by themselves, it seems like they've each got each of these problems that they're dealing with. I really do like that idea that obviously you've got the contrast of when they're with, with each other and then w when they're on their own. I think a lot of people can relate to that. <laughs> Food fight. Mm. He still got that lollipop in his mouth. Ha. Dude, RM looks badass, I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> everything aside. Did his car just get stolen? Is that what just happened? I'm not really too sure, but... Mm. Dude! That is not nice. Dude, those cars are just driving past him. Come on, check if he's all right. This guy's just collapsed in the middle of the road. Uh, again, I don't know. Is that the same guy who was taking all the pills earlier? Maybe he's overdosed. Dude, this is some super dark imagery, man. But I love it. This is this is what music's all about. It's about presenting these themes that sometimes we're scared to talk about. So, you know, obviously a lot of time it's easier to talk about it through the music. And that's what they're doing, man. Obviously, the lyrics aren't necessarily portraying these themes but Ooh. super cool imagery there also like dark themes aside 
Wait, what was that? His He had the petals on his heart. Dude, I think that's like a projector, but that's beautiful. Wait, so those flowers were burning earlier. Does that mean his heart was burning? It was on the floor and it was burning? Uh, maybe I'm looking too deep into it. I don't know. Dude, a lot just happened there. This guy's just stood in front of a car with it coming towards him. This guy, I'm not... Are those his parents? I'm not too sure. But if the, if those are his parents, he's just smashed a bottle on his dad's head. Dude, some family issues, man, there. Nah. Don't tell me he was drowning himself in that bathtub. Dude, this is genius, man. They're just contrasting so beautifully. The struggles that people go through when they're on their own and their private life, obviously family life, stuff like that. And now they're with their friends and you've got this beautiful imagery of obviously these sparklers going off in the background and they're all really happy because they're together. Dude, this, this just paints such a broader picture, man. <laughs> Really catchy song on the first, on the second listen as well. Dude. What was he just pouring then? Dude, was he just pouring his pills onto the fire? Oh my god, that is such dude. I think he was. <laughs> Dude, dude, that's the, it's, I mean, it's, it's awfully dark, and I don't mean to obviously bring, bring light to something like this, but I've got to give props to the production team on this, obviously setting fire to a room like that. I'm guessing this is probably CGI because, I mean, I don't, I don't want, um, is that Jin? I'm not too sure, but I, I don't want him to be in any danger with all this fire around him. But yeah, props to the production team on this one, Jesus Christ, man. But yeah, again, he's just pulled, like, gas all over the floor, and now he's burning, oh, dude. Dude, it's super super dark high like strong themes of like suicide and depression in here wow <laughs> yeah. RM's just still there with his car being stolen Dude. They've got each other, man, and that's that's all that matters. <laughs> Dude, that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Something that this really does remind me of, and it's obviously it's really personal, but if you guys have been watching my videos before, you would know that I'm studying film at university, or at least I was before coronavirus. But last term, I actually made a film called Bag Boy, and it was actually about how people always wear this mask when they're around their friends, act really happy and positive and everything but then when they get home or when they're on their own this mask comes off and they're completely themselves again like there's no filter or anything and we were using a paper bag to like represent that with like different emotions written on it for what you were trying to show versus what you're actually feeling inside this reminds me of that quite a lot obviously much better executed than any of my films but just the theme of how you know even though it could look 
completely fine and feel completely fine when you're with your friends on the outside when you take that mask off and you're on your own it's it the story can be a lot different and they've they've told this absolutely beautifully and i just love these different characters that they've created each one of them has different problems which means that everyone watching this video are able to relate directly to this which is absolutely beautiful but yeah man super super good video i'm loving the song as well on the second listen it was even more catchy than the first time that's what happens with songs you know it it, it grows on you as you listen to it again and again and uh, I feel like I feel like this is a good way to do it the way I've done it here we'll listen to it twice because you can hear the song actually growing on me rather than just the first time obviously I can appreciate it but the on the second listen that's when you really are like wait I really do like this song and yeah it's super super catchy the that just that instrumental break as well really really impressive production and yeah this video is probably really long so if you made it to the end thank you so much i hope you did enjoy the video and yeah just something i do want to quickly say before i end it completely i do plan on doing the rest of the storyline in order so we've done i need you and run and i plan to continue it from there but before i do that i do want to watch a couple more videos just kind of introducing me to each of the guys a lot more so i can learn their names like definitely off by heart so i'm going to be watching nobody's to legends in the next few days i think hopefully you guys should enjoy that but yeah thank you so much for watching guys have a beautiful rest of your day we'll see you in the next video peace off